Go ahead, Al. Oh, uh, well, the uh, the original pitch you had was that it was Marge that is the one that has the, the spell in the church and starts shouting out what's well, going to happen. Well, we had her in yeah. there for a long time. And there's is and when we changed, you'll see a change come. Well, you you, you probably saw the movie by now. But but when Marge, <laughs> when Marge did have the visitation, hopefully you saw them. But when Marge did have the visitation, it changed the whole nature of the movie from that moment forward a lot of it in interesting ways we liked it it was it, there was something but but it you know i came to think and i think we all did that she since since she's our most accessible character you access the movie she's the only one who does straight thinking that when when it happened to her things got a little too dark and too serious and we found that happened very easily to us but the whole tone of the movie changed when we switched to grandpa you also began to wonder because we never refer back to the visitation and it was marge you, well, is that going to happen again? You had that anticipation. But it's, it's a totally well, different never, movie, by the way. If we did every line the same except for that, the movie would be utterly different. No, and, we and, never, but we never got a real handle on, on speaking in tongues. I mean, it was we were trying to like not be too scary, and and it was like The Exorcist with Julie, and and you know. And Julie almost blew out her throat trying to do it. The, the point where we switched was we had put the joke in where she was wrapped up in the rug, and then she was in the car in the rug, and we said, "You can't have your mother." wrapped up in a rug and not think it's a serious problem and then everything, you know, has to, you know, turn to that. You can't then have Homer on the roof and Bart, you know, yeah. doing shingles with him. And that's the point where we made it, Grandpa. Yeah, it made the family look really bad not taking it seriously if it happened to Marge. And then by switching to Grandpa, somebody who's prone to saying crazy things and doing crazy things and it's more expected from the family, it kind of gave us that license to, to continue doing jokes. And with any movie, the biggest conversation always involves the tone of the movie. That's always the biggest deal. It was a surprise to me, because this was the first film that I really had worked on from beginning to end, is that late in the process, we'd make such a major change as going from Marge to Grandpa in the key opening scene. I mean, it was really you know, very late. I mean, you can see lot, lots of stuff done with Marge. Well, but it cheered us up when we did it. I mean, we yeah, got lighter, yeah. you know? Well, it's interesting. We were able to do that and not change the, basically the scenes that followed that much. There were just slight adjustments, and it all worked uh, basically the same. I guess, I guess you can go forward. Thank you.
Mal Jean, one of the writer producers of the Simpsons movie, and I'm here to introduce the deleted scenes. Uh, as I speak now, the movie has grossed over $400 million around the world, and we thank you very much. If we'd left these scenes in, I don't know, maybe we'd have grossed $500 million, or maybe 300 That's the magic of DVDs you can judge for yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoy these scenes. This is a day for the history books, sir. I'm the first head of the EPA to ever meet a president. Yeah, that is me. Mr. President, Springfield's pollution has reached crisis levels. They're, they're beyond any recorded levels that I've ever seen. And I look at levels all day long. I might not be explaining it well. So, sir... If a normal level is here, the levels that we're talking about are higher than my hand can go. I can make it clearer. Uh, I'm going to get up and raise my arm here. Now, if a normal level is down on the floor, the levels that we're talking about are beyond my middle finger. Do you like basketball? Okay. Imagine one of the tallest men in the league on my shoulders reaching up beyond his middle finger. It's a, it's a stupidly high level, Mr. President. And I'm very concerned about it. Oh, relax. The Earth can eat anything. Tell that to this chipmunk. <laughs> We now return to the Springfield Farm Report with Happy McGee. There's no more weather. All the crops are dying. Unscrupulous merchants are charging exorbitant prices for basic necessities. Fifty bucks for milk? You're profiting from our misery, man. Yes, I know. Why can't you just be happy for me? No one's immune from the dome's effects. Not even the world of sports. That ball is going, going, oh, it's off the dome for yet another ground rule double, making the score 168 to nothing in the top of the first. Who'd have thunk it? Day 93 under the dome. What started as impolite behavior has devolved into a homicidal free-for-all, once seen only in inexpensive NASCAR feet. Ransack a government building! <laughs> Next. No more collective lenses for me. I'm taking my eyes to Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Pal, I can hoof it from here. See you later. Ah, time to check on my sausages. Checking on my sausages, opening the door. Can't wait to see my sausages sitting on... No! How'd you get to be the emperor? You see, with the town sealed off from the rest of the world, things got a little nutty here. 
First we were a dystopia, then a utopia, and then an autopia. There were some very violent, very intense times. Many dead, I'm afraid. Many others also dead. Oh, my. Simpson, and don't tell Fox, but here's an unfinished scene from the Simpsons movie. It's a work in progress, so I don't want anyone asking stupid questions like, hey, what happened to the color? Because there's... Hey, what happened to the color? Hmm, I don't think that's what silos are for. Are you questioning my farming skills? Oh, it's leaking. It's not leaking. It's overflowing. He filled up the whole silo in just two days? Well, I helped. Homer, stop! Stop, I know it's easy for your mind to wander. But I want you to really concentrate on me. God spoke to us for a reason. I'm not quite sure what that reason is, but I'm asking you, please dispose of that waste properly. Okay, Marge. This feels right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Homer Simpson, and don't tell Fox, but here's an unfinished scene from the Simpsons movie. It's a work in progress, so I don't want anyone asking stupid questions like, hey, what happened to the color? Because there's... Hey, what happened to the color? <laughs> run! 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 Rest! Rest! Run! Run! Okay. That's enough whipping for now. With this arm, 
Run! 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 Now I know we've had a rough day, but I'm sure we can put all that behind us and just... <laughs> Oh, that's my whipping arm! Mr. Burns, Smithers, Grandpa, and Lovejoy. Here's the money shot. Lisa, <laughs> Billy, Krusty, Booby Man, Skinner. Found a lot these days. Flanders, Barney, Lenny, Carl. Oh, what? <laughs> Apu, Wiggle. <laughs> so what's it okay i mean we, we've met harry shearer and one or two others of, of your cast um he obviously does mr burns and others what's your what's your favorite homer line what's your favorite homer gag because everybody who, who watches and takes part in the simpsons has one so oh god on, you know on. my favorite homer line just got yeah. cut from the movie it, oh. it's it's amazing it's my favorite line and it's evil and, and horrifying and i'll test it out on you yeah, cool. okay so uh bart inadvertently gets locked in a the sarcophagus of a mummy okay oh, right right yeah. Right, yeah. right. And uh, <laughs> he, he and, and, and Homer didn't get him out immediately. And, uh, and Marge uh, says, Homer? And he said, Marge, he's got to get, get over his fear of coffins. <laughs> No, I think that's what a great line. What did you cut that line for? That's how good this movie is. Okay? That. that that line wasn't good enough for, for our movie. Do you My have fa a favorite? What are you doing? I can't breathe. Marge, he's got to get over his fear of coffins. <laughs> Don't look where I'm pointing! Don't look where I'm pointing! Process? Process? Okay. So what are some of the emotions you're feeling right now? A scream is too general. Give me specifics.
some have an anthem, we thought we had one, but we don't. We paid a short guy to write it, but we never saw him again. The tune we stole from the French, there's a few things they do well, like making love wine and cheese. gonna have to wait and see. I know some of you might be tempted by the Burger King to eat his flame-broiled Whopper instead of my deep-fried-with-love Krusty Burger. All I can say is, please, I'm behind on seven alimonies. I'm wearing paper bags for shoes. <laughs> Don't buy the Whopper. Homer eats Whopper, takes 75. Action! Oh! 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 Double me, double cheese, double play. Three second rule. Cut. 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 I get sweaty when I eat. Double me, double cheese, double play, double. 